They say life is like an endless ascent. It's a ride through highs and lows, challenges and successful moments. For some, this isn't just a metaphor about life. Ultra endurance athletes often seek to achieve what most people consider impossible. For these athletes, life is a journey, a path winding through exhaustion and hardship, yet also through joy and triumph. It's us who don't just battle mountain passes, but our own limits. This is a short story about my lows, about my highs, about my struggles, and about my joy. This is a short story about me, Cynthia. Three days before the start of Badlands, I arrive in Granada, where I share a place with some of my close friends. We're preparing to race 450 miles in the desert of southern Spain. What was his name? The Russian guy? Dimitri. Dimitri. Dimitri told me, I wish, I'm so glad you reminded me of his name because I've been trying to figure it out for a while. Dimitri told me he bought 15 or 20 different pumps and, um, this was the one that had the least amount of pumps. It's my size. Stinks. Impressive. It's been a year since I've been to Granada in Spain, since Badlands 2022, and that was my first ultra. My first multi-day ultra, I guess. I'd done Unbound a couple times and some other local, um, like 24 hour ultras. But uh, yeah, it's been a year and I've learned a lot since I've been here last. Being back is like exciting because I don't know, I met a lot of people. I have a lot of friends. And so getting to like see those people again is really cool. Um, as a little bit of pressure, but I don't know. I've never been so confident in my life about something feeling like this is what I'm meant to be doing. I feel, I feel ready. It's not just about bike racing. It's about everything else that has to do with ultras. Um, it's a good, it's a good feeling. Definitely nervous, but I'm looking forward to starting in about two days and yeah, see what my legs have. I've been preparing for this race since the last time I was here, where I got second. And I was so proud of getting second, but I really wanted to win. So, yeah, here I am. My initial attempt at Badlands presented endless opportunities. I was entering as a rookie in the ultra scene, but my motivation to compete was overflowing. I was blissfully unaware of the challenges I would face yet I carried a quiet nervousness within me that I hadn't experienced before. I felt like preparing for battle. Little did I know it would be with myself. Badlands in 2022 marked my initiation into multi-day ultra cycling races. I lined up against one of the best riders out there, Leo Wilcox. It was an exhilarating opportunity to meet her and many other wonderful new friends. The race was everything and nothing like what I was expecting. The heat lingered like a blow dryer in your face. The climb seemed endless. I felt stuck in a loop, ascending sandy hills one after another, melting away into the earth with no shade in sight. For a whole year, I struggled internally, analyzing what I did wrong, contemplating improvement strategies, and refining my race tactics. Yet, amidst all these uncertainties, one thing was unequivocally clear. I would return, driven by my love for this race, these people, and this sport. Ultra 
to racing and life are similar and very dissimilar at the same time, but they're similar because you just never know what's going to happen. You could break your chain, you could get a sidewall tear so bad that you've got to use a needle and floss to sew it back up. You could crash, which I've done many times in a in a race. Um, had to change my spare hanger on my rear derailleur because I bent it. Um, life is unknowns, and you can think this is the direction my life is going, and then life is like, well, sorry, something's going to come up that seems catastrophic. But, I mean, like, life is cool. You get all these experiences, and you can go places and see things, and you can embrace life and be happy about it, even when things are hard. And I think that, for me, with ultra racing, like, that is one of the things I think that's my biggest strength, is that even in the face of adversity, and even when things are hard, I'll always have a good attitude. Because I get to be here, I'm lucky, I am racing my bike in another country, usually and I'm having a wonderful experience, and I'm happy. And obviously in life, it's harder to be like that all the time. But when it comes to ultra racing, that's super important to me. I think being positive and sharing that positivity with others. And it, I think it, it's funny because it's really bike related for me, but it leaks over into my regular life. I have friends that, you know, choose to be around me because I'm typically more positive um, or, you know, people are like, well, you never complain or things like that. Obviously we all have our bad days. We can't be perfect all the time, but yeah, being positive, even in the face of adversity and hard things is, I think the best method to push through. So, similar, but different, same, same, but different as I would say. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're headed to the social ride on Friday. I'm here with Ulrich. Yeah, I'm social. That's, I'm, that's why I'm riding. <laughs> this is Uba. And then also Chris and Johannes. Um, do you want to cross right here? Yeah, left, left, left. Yeah. Nobody's listening. Uh, we're headed to the social ride. We got 48 hours until the race start. So let's go be social. Hello and welcome to, I don't know where we are, we're in Granada. We've got a bunch of people out and uh, me, Bossy. This is the guy behind the camera. <laughs> um, we're gonna go for a ride. I think we're only doing like 30K or something. So a nice short ride. And um, yeah, then gonna put the legs up. So let's go see what's going on here. Crawlby social ride. We got a good loop plan. 50k. We got a croissant boy right here. I didn't see the croissants. No. Where were they? Did you bring that with you? Oh, uh, you want some? Yes. I've been I've been looking for a croissant. First one. Mm. Uh-huh. Wonderful. Thank you. Cheers. Don't no worry. We're in the city now. We'll head out of town and get into the mountain. A little climbing first. I've been here since Wednesday. It's Saturday. So I've had a lot of time to rest and recover. I rode my bike a couple times. It feels good. The bags feel good. All the stuff feels good. Um, I've slept really well. My body feels good. I'm ready. I, I think. I don't know, there's not really anything stopping me because I'm not feeling ready for the race tomorrow, which is exciting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is that a small um, Look. It's me. I gotta put this in a frame.
After we finish the rider briefing, we'll head back to the house and I will cook dinner for the group that's staying at the house um, that I'm staying at. And then I'll probably call my mom, just touch base with her, um, tell her how I'm feeling, and she'll give me some words of encouragement as moms always do. I will probably talk to a few of my best friends and um, yeah, just kind of get into the Zen mode, go to bed early. The race doesn't start till eight tomorrow morning, so we don't have to get up super early, but I'll still probably get up at like 5.30 or 6. Um, and yeah, I think it'll be a good chill evening. I don't, I guess this thing never makes sense to me, I guess. That's why I, when I read these, I'm like, why? So when the next climb, let's see, next coal, it's 47, but where does it start? You don't know. Mm. I mean, if you want to know what's, what's coming next, then you want to know that Finder Mundo is no, coming with I, 30%. I don't, okay, true. I'll look at the, the steep shit. But really, I just want to know when there's a climb that's a thousand feet or longer, because mm -hmm. it takes more than 10 minutes. I spent like hours and hours See? preparing the route and you are doing it in 10 minutes for straightish. Yeah, but I'm not just figure it out kind of person. Remember, we're not the same people. But somehow we both still get to the finish. Ideally, the day before such a race should be relaxed. No one likes having a stressful day before they're getting on their bike the next morning, aiming to give their best for 72 hours straight. Yet, I know those situations where you feel like you're losing control. Two days before my start at Across Andes in Chile, a car backed up and hit my bike, breaking the frame. Suddenly, I felt sheer panic. Could I still participate? Was all the work and my journey all in vain? Thank goodness with the help of many, I acquired a new frame and transferred my old components onto it, enabling me to start. Once the race began, I found myself more and more. Mile after mile, I discovered more about myself. I let go of all the stress and found my center. It was just me and my bike. I experienced something akin to a runner's eye. Everything went according to plan, and after two nights of no sleep, the joy at the finish line was greater than the pain I had endured. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, she is. Yeah, so um, there are some women I don't actually know. I don't, I think, I don't really. Wait, you said that Lynn is doing it? Yeah, Lynn Bissette is doing it. I know. She's so strong. She's super strong. Yeah, basically she told me she had done adventure racing. And she said something like, you, it teaches how to not to sleep or something. And I was like, dang it, that's my one strategy that's better than everyone else's. So, but I know the route. And she doesn't. Yeah. But they did actually, um, they have to change the route because there's rain. Um, and the rain, like, basically, we go through a dried riverbed. So um, I'm a little bit, I mean, like, whatever about changing the route. But there's a chance that there might be some mud. In this kind of situation, you just want to make sure that you um, think about the bike while you're doing it. Because yeah. Because you will only have that derailleur or whatever, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, totally. So. Yeah, I have a spare derailleur hanger, so, but hopefully it won't be too muddy where, like, it gets to the point where it's, like, behind your chain, and, like, I mean, basically, won't yeah. be, but it's very clay-like here, so I don't know, it might dry fast, we'll see, but, mm -hmm. um, I guess that's, like, what I'm a little bit nervous about. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, it's, like, 9 o'clock, I think I'm gonna go to bed soon. Well, okay. i talk to you later. Well. Thanks. And, um, I'll be dog watching, okay. and, uh, you can always Bye. Thank Bye. you. Take you where you need to. I will. Okay. Love you lots. Okay. Adios. Bye. 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 Race day is here, and the countdown is on. Just two hours until the start. It's like an app where you put your route in, and it yeah, tells you. Yeah, right weather. Yeah. I didn't check that, though. Did mm -hmm. you check it? Yeah, it's a massive, massive wind in the Corrupt Desert. Like crosswind, headwind, mm. everything, but no tailwind. It's gonna be fine. It's just but it doesn't down. usually rain in southern Spain, so I don't know. Or what? In southern Spain, it doesn't rain that much. No.
So this is kind of rare. All right. It's called Storm. So I know. Signore. Oh, it, it has a name? Every storm has a name. Really? No. Yeah. The morning of race prep is super important. The final hours before the start are planned out and the steps to be ready to race are in full swing, all while preparing the mind for what lies ahead. It'll take us about two to three days to get to the finish. Depending on the race dynamics, it's possible to spend more than 50 hours in the saddle over the next few days. The last thing you want is any physical discomfort. Otherwise, the race can feel never ending. What? Yeah, it's... It's CBD cream for my bunions that I got. Once everything is done and ready, it's time to head to the start line. The nerves are brimming. Ready? Ready! All right, well, the time has come. Friends, I got a crew. And I feel oddly deja vu, because I think I recorded the same thing just 365 days ago. So here we go. Time for Badlands 2023. At the start, you can feel the nervous energy. Everyone's tinkering with their bikes as if it will make a difference now. The training is behind us. We're in the present moment and can hardly wait to begin. So in one minute, we will start. Here we go, this is the moment. It's time to unleash Badlands 2023. I'm focused. I've been watching for the omens. I've been listening to everything you said. It's been running through my head, locked and loaded. I got the feeling that you know. Yeah, I've only just begun. I won't stop until it's done. Do you broken? So welcome to the fire. For this moment, the final battle of the chosen. See, I'm never gonna quit. Got my legacy set in motion. So, welcome to the fire. to the fire cause the bigger they are the harder they fall you build your fortress and I'll climb your walls you got your armor I see your flaws it's not too bad so welcome to the fire
The night is a battle with yourself. You're alone, almost no cars around, visibility is limited, and thoughts begin to circle in your head. It's tough. You can't see the end of the climb, and you have to descend cautiously because you don't know what's around the next turn. 16 hours into the race, and I've ridden 300 kilometers. I have 440 to go. When I glanced at the tracker during my last stop, there was still a competitor ahead. So I ride through the night in silence, minimizing my break time. I keep riding, meter by meter, climb after climb, turn after turn, just the moon, the stars, and me. I punch my card, I know what it costs. Yeah, I put in the work that you don't. Day after day, I work in the play. Yeah, I'll do all the things that you won't. Even when my feet get tired, I will keep on moving higher. I'm the story you don't speak of. I'm the one they call the underdog. Every time the push comes to shove I'm climbing over you to reach the top Cause I want everything or nothing at all Yeah, I want everything or nothing at all Cause I want everything or nothing, nothing, nothing Nothing at all Don't care what you think or what you believe Cause I'm gonna turn the world upside down If you want a shot, just up in the ring Yeah, I'm gonna shake your bones like thunder It was a long night of pushing. I had been falling asleep while riding, so I took a five minute nap before the long descent down to the ocean. Aside from fatigue, all I could focus on was the opportunity to eat something warm. It needed to be quick and something I could bring with me for the next 24 hours of riding to the finish. There is nothing like a warm sandwich after pounding gels, gummies, and bars for the last day. I'm the story you don't speak of. I'm the one they call the underdog. Cause every time the push comes to shove, I'm climbing over you too. Cause I want everything or nothing at all Yeah, I want everything or nothing at all Cause I want everything or nothing, 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 nothing at all Don't care what you think or what you believe Cause I'm gonna turn the world upside down If you want a shot, just up in the ring yeah, I'ma shake your bones like thunder Even when my feet get tired I will keep on moving higher I'm the story you don't speak of I'm the one they call the underdog Cause every time the push comes to shove I'm climbing over you to reach the top Cause I want everything or nothing at all Yeah, I want everything or nothing at all Cause I want everything or nothing, 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 nothing at all I don't want nothing at all Unless I can have it all I don't want nothing I don't want nothing in dark Unless I can have it all Nothing at all At some point the previous night, I had taken the lead. We've been riding for 28 hours. Kara is in second and is consistently just a few miles behind me. During the race, I rarely check the live tracker that shows where all the participants are on the route. Instead, I focus on my own race, but occasionally I check the distance. The last 100 kilometers of the route is essentially one long uphill. 
and it seems the gaps here are significantly smaller than in past editions. But everyone's suffering, whether leading the pack or sitting in 112th place. We are all fighting our own battle. We're stopping uh, at every, uh, every spot now. The shorter the kilometers, the more they're stopping. So I think, theoretically, we won't arrive. <laughs> what a challenge. Only 170 kilometers and 4,000 meters. Crazy. In the last year, I have had some battles of my own to fight. You can stand cheerfully at the start line, envisioning the best for the race, but you never know how it will unfold. All eyes were on me as the reigning champ of the 2022 Unbound XL 350-mile race. During the 2023 edition, I faced physical challenges initially, but struggled to push past the mental fortitude I'd spent the last few race seasons building. This year, I've been dealing with some immense struggles in my life outside of bike racing. My marriage ended, and I left the place I called home for almost a decade. I had to untangle my life from another person. I made friends. I lost friends. I overtaxed friendships that may never recover. I was in a dark place mentally and physically on those muddy roads of Kansas. I didn't have it in me to continue. All of these challenges ultimately led to my withdrawal. Yet, setbacks are part of the journey, and it has motivated me even more to prepare with everything I had for this upcoming race. But even here, the race can be decided in the final 100 kilometers. A minor mishap, a moment of distraction, and everything could be over, slipping through your fingers when victory seemed within reach. I have one last resupply before heading to the finish. I know I have to give it my all. Kara is hot on my heels. During the night, I find myself alone once more. Something I'm accustomed to in all the solo training miles I've put in over the years. I have spent countless hours riding in the mountains of my home in Virginia, pushing past what I thought was possible on a bicycle. Time bends and reality shifts, but I have to remind myself the hours of dedication and preparation will be worth it. Not only will I gain fitness from these training miles, it fills me with joy to explore the landscape around me. All of the challenges I've overcome this year and years past are what continue to push me forward. I set out sometimes seemingly impossible goals, and when I achieve them, I can look back at all that time and smile. It fuels my determination, and that's why I'm here. I'm suffering, but I won't let it disrupt my mental fortitude. I'm determined to get to that finish. I'm, a, I'm really happy. I'm just very emotional. <laughs> it's like surreal, you know? Oh. Yeah.
Yeah. I'm, I'm, maybe you didn't have his best day, but tomorrow we can make it a good day. Absolutely. We had a good day watching you. What? We had a good day watching you. Oh, I'm glad. That was epic. Holy moly. I literally did not know that I had that inside me. I just kept going and going and going. And every time I would check, she'd be a little you know, closer or farther away and I would just continue to push. And every time I could do it, it's crazy. Your body is just like, all right, I guess we're doing this. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Which is cool. If your head's with it, yeah. just, it just gives. Yeah. It's crazy how mindset can make such a difference. Yeah. Oh, that like was stuck to the bottom of my foot. <laughs> oh, oh, that feels so much better. Hello, are you a wiener? I am a wiener. Oh my God, I just saw, um, I also just saw an old man, wide haired dog uh, at the finish, so. Oh, really? Yes, they made. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. I was really worried that she was going to catch me, so. All right, I'm going to go. She's going to finish in, like, within the half hour. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I haven't checked the tracker. Um, I'm going to go find food and take a shower. Oh, I had a croissant left. Oh, oh no, it's, it's not. Ultimately, winning races brings undeniable satisfaction. But it's only a few days or weeks later that I realize what truly counts. It's the experiences I share with my family, friends, and fellow competitors that hold the real value. I realize my happiness relies on more than just a result or a number on the leaderboard. Only one person can claim victory. We are all on our own journey, fighting our own battles, but we line up together. This sport transcends mere competition. In the end, we're all on the same journey, or as I would say, same, same, but different. I might break down and cry from something you said. You tell me get over it. Don't be sensitive. You want me there on your time, but I'll be there in five. Yeah, you got a grip on me tight. But that's not my vibe Think that you could change me, shape me, make me Bulletproof, sway me, make me Someone new, but baby, I'm break it down for you Yeah
you can change.